Hi guys and welcome to the Rainbow Six Replays YouTube channel. Today we want to present the video highlights of the match between Dark Zero Esports and Team Wildcard during the North America League 2024 Stage 2. Don't forget to subscribe and put a like. Enjoy. They're in the site now. Kobe, the first one to make that entry through the ash wall. Let's Nay start up that plant to get down on the ground. Nobody on Wildcard able to respond. Finally, Bosco tries to make a move. Taken down by Kobe Lax. Bay as well. Picked up on that return from the roam. They're all coming blue, Parker, but they're just being stuffed out. Bolo takes down Spiker after a trade. Now it's Kansan, Bay, and Spiff in the 3v4. Looking to do something here, but Kansan's got a flank coming from top blue. It's going to be Pamba who's trying to find that. Doesn't get the kill. But doesn't need to, just has to pull their distraction away. We'll back off the four players left alive for Dark Zero playing this oh so perfectly. Nafe prone next to the defuse kit, guarding it with his life. Sees ahead across the bomb site. Very close. Not quite able to get it this time around, though. Still does go taken down. Fifth the last one alive, though, in the 1v3. And as to how teams can prepare for this style of meta, and it involves being flexible and having somebody who's really, really good on shields. Whether it's Bolo or somebody else, right now Dark Zero's off to the races and Wildcard is tripping them at the starting line. NJR is the last man standing as four of the five DZ players all die in one fell swoop. In the span of three seconds, DZ goes from five to one. Now NJR needs to find something. Bosco, the only one dead from Wildcard. So for NJR, he's got his work cut out for him. A 1v4 with a little bit over a minute to go and Spiker will decide to take down a lot of that even this stage and with shields being arguably the strongest that they've ever been in Rainbow Six Siege having a good shield player is vital now Bolo that round just didn't have the intel on the player that was very important position on Raptor's Garage nice kill by Pamazoo to send the numbers back to even not a lot of time for him to get towards the bomb site 45 seconds to go and his march up those red stairs we waited on by one of the players from wildcard njr sprinting on in a kill towards rafters now a look towards cash as kobe has died elsewhere diffuser will need to be planted but a nitro cell from bosco claims more than one bolo on the flank coming up just went off everybody from wildcard holding on the only damage right now being done it's been done to dark oh never mind Dark Zero and taking some damage but they for any of the hard breach that Walcard has set up around the map. All that hard breach that you talked about is now being put to good use. The final logic bomb will now go. Players from Wildcard with 20 seconds left will at least have their positions revealed. Spiff gets flashed inside a moto, the follow up from NJR, but he's wary of the door. No way! Does Spiff win that blind? He almost picks up more than one for his trouble. Nafe getting Diffuser down, but it's him in a 1v2. The canister in hand of Kansan now sitting inside of construction. There's a lineup from Bosco. We'll go towards the breach, and it claims two again. Bosco repeats his success from several rounds ago, and it blows Dark Zero up. Kobe and Bolo gone. Pambazoo will join them in the afterlife. How quickly this round has turned. Nafe and NJR is the last two standing, and Bosco will see Nafe. Losing the engagement though, Nafe has the position. NJR looking for something, another Nitro Cell. Now it's from Kansan. And, and suddenly it's all up to NJR. Bosco is retrievable, but he might just bleed out. Or NJR secures the kill. It still gives them some information. Wildcard will adeptly fall back and leave NJR in this position to try and clutch out a 1v4. Through the door frame, looking towards Logi. Cold as ice, another Nitro Cell. Four of the five kills. Nafe's Montane, but it is not doing the trick. Ambazu is waiting for his head to show up just for a second. And Kobe's also right there. Spiker drops, catches Kobe off guard, and a little bit of damage is done to two different players from DZ. Bolo gets swung by Bay. Again, it's been a standout so far for Wildcard, but that Monty will be a problem, and he's on rafters looking to pressure the actual bomb site. Bay sees him, does not want an engagement. Hold on, Bay wins that. How does Nafe lose the duel through the window? DZ in tough shape with 30 seconds to go. Ridiculous play by Bay to start us off. They equalize the man advantage with that, but he's looking for more. Still in top red, an incredibly important position. The Sledge will get them in, but of course with the Monty, planting is going to be a bit harder for them. Out of Nitro Cells, Bosco is the only one that brought one. He used it earlier. 
Still Bay on the red stairs in advantage here. The plant starts from Pambazoo. No pressure from down below, but somehow Kansen, he finds the angle. He just found a swing and he got the head. Bay for the final one, and that's gonna be a dagger. Still, it shows that us saying it's, an, it's a defender-sided map might be a little bit out of date in the current meta and with these current teams. But also up is down and down is up at the moment. Border is <laughs> border is defender sided map. Chalet is an overwhelming. Certainly, I mean they're going for a full anchor strategy. Bolo, we've seen him just do crazy things on these staircases before, and that's a great headshot to start it off. Takes down Bosco, really putting the pressure on now. Your Maverick's gone, and another one too. Spiker continuing the pressure. Bolo tricky push to navigate in a two man disadvantage. Kansan will go for the drop. Kills need to be had by Wildcard. They need to happen yesterday. That's Kansan eliminating Bolo. Nafe taking down Bay will give the numbers back to DZ though. And Bolo being the only one lost, that's good for DZ. Kansan circling around. I have to watch for Pambazoo now as he looks to stop that diffuser in its tracks. And it's NJR to actually get the final kill. Spiff and as his partner in crime, Pambazoo, on that cash extension did go down early. They've got Nafe down below site as well, but it's Bolo who strikes back. It's his favorite staircase, Barker. Once again, <laughs> find Spiker, equalize that man count, and get back to the bomb site. Beautifully done by him, rotating all the way around. Goals that are so necessary in this current meta that we see. Bosco's being watched by the evil eye, and that will be Spiker on drone duty for his team, Pambazoo for DZ, NJR. The one who put down that maestro cam in the first place will get the job done and now go on to cams with 20 seconds left. The fire that lingers will slow down wild cards advance, if not outright stop it. No duels to be won by wild card here. Last one standing is Spiff as he breaches into the bomb site. The fuser might as well be a mile away and it's an impactless exit kill for Spiff. As the timer, it's zero. Two in a row for DZ. In a way, in a way. There'll be this pixel angle now held in blue. Kansan is there, and a follow-up is won by Spiff. So both members of Wildcard able to take him down, but look at the HP of Spiff. Seven HP, that is it. You sneeze on him, and he will be out of action. Wildcard have equalized these numbers, losing Bosco to that Nitro Cell earlier in the round, but their work is cut out for them, as now they've lost Bay. Spiff is also that dead man walking still. And Wildcard don't look any closer to getting into the objective play. Well, maybe if Nave looks in the wrong direction. Pamazoo taking down Spiker, a re-aggress from Kansan, but he loses it to NJR, and Spiff is taken care of from the same. They're good, bro. They're good enough. Kobe's getting flashed out. He's still on the ground. Kansan the swing around, and he looks for the follow-up after he's already picked off NJR. Kobe is bleeding out. Still retrievable at this point, but... How effective will he be? Wildcard looking like they're on the precipice of match point. It's Nathan Bolo now to hold down the fort. After Spiff was picked so early on in the round, it has been wildcard the rest of the way. Nafe lets it. No, no way. Sonics did this to DZ, and now DZ will do the same to wildcard. A lesson hard learned. Bolo with a kill as well, and Wildcard had that round in hand. Nafe dies, and it's Spiker and Bolo in a battle of wits. Ten seconds left as Spiker will drop, grab Diffuser, and he'll try to force Bolo out of his position. The timer will favor DZ at this point. A successful stick, but Bolo gets the entry and the exit kills. And a round that should have been won by Wildcard is won by DZ. I can't tell whose play I like better between Bolo and Nate. First minute of this round with all five players still on the board is frankly a cause for celebration. They lose one. <laughs> Here, they're going to have logistics control as well. Meaning this push is likely to come over from the Lodgy side. Kansan over on the main bridge too. They've got a lot of angles, which I do like, but the angles are also very good for DZ who get not one, not two, but three right at the start of this push, leaving Spiff all alone in the 1v5 says what happened to my team well they all died and that's match point for dark improvements as a team but it doesn't really seem like they are learning they're changing things they're trying things it's not getting them anywhere and they finally trade pamba going for more spiff says let's take things into our own hands two kills right below the bomb garage and the angles being held by bolo you just know for a fact he's gonna punish you Swapping mates. 
Is Bolo now under fire, still on this Raptors position, and a Nitro Cell will kill Bosco Baydai shortly after. There goes Kansan, and it's Spiff against the world. A flawless second half for Dark Zero. It's possible they haven't dropped around yet. Spiff will need a 3K to keep this going. Pambazoo will hit him with the GG as the Clash slows him down inside of the sights. In Garage, the final kill comes out and it's Dark Zero's matchup.